Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing five books I don't think are worth it. And yeah, disclaimer, this is just my opinion, okay? Just my opinion. You may love these books. I just, I don't, nothing really in these books kind of sat with me. So I'm going to explain why. And so, so the first one you might be thinking, girl, what in the world? Because I did just put this book in a video that I did called Seven Books. I think should be turned into a TV show and a movie, or a movie, and this book was in it, and not that I didn't think this book was good, and that I don't think that it would be a great book, or a great movie, or TV show, I think I said TV show for this one, and that is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and it's really just the... <laughs> how her and Celia kind of handled the whole like um pregnancy um situation I personally just I didn't like it I think Celia wasn't really like listening to her and I think Evelyn kind of took the easy way out instead of like owning up to it um and if it wasn't for that i think this i don't think this book would be in this video because it was a really good book it's just that kind of like almost ruined it for me so if you don't like the whole pregnancy trope i don't think this book is worth it Okay, so next is After by Anna Todd, and I have the whole series, and I'm, I'm three books into it, but, <laughs> so I do really love this book. It's just, um, I, recently, I have been in, I guess, proximity towards someone who treats his girlfriend like Harden treats Tessa and I don't really like it and it's like kind of ruined the book for me because like when you're reading you don't like you're like oh my gosh that was so bad but then when you see it happening in real life you're just like oh that's messed up like that's abuse or like a harassment or something so and I just I just don't really like how this book kind of like glorifies that aspect of it and I also think that like Harden's kind of messed up past gives him a pass to treat Tessa the way he does and not just in this book, but all the books. And I don't know, it's just, I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore. So if you really don't like toxic relationships or a lot of smut, I forgot how pretty this cover was, <laughs> but this book in this series is definitely not for you because there's a lot of toxicness, there's a lot of smut, there's a lot of manipulation in this like there's a lot so just heads up if you want to read it um next um is the kissing booth by the freakles and the second one i just didn't want to put that with this this book is just very forgettable i really enjoyed the movie but i mean the book is very different from the movie like there's no like 
list with rules. But at the end of the day, like, I really... Sorry. I really don't remember what happened in this book or the second book. And I was going to get the third book but I never like found it anywhere and I just I kind of forgot about this series so yeah I mean I read it back in middle school so that could possibly be why and I I, I remember I really liked it back in middle school so maybe for like 12 11 12 13 year olds it, this would be a really good read and it's very short and it's very fast paced. I remember I finished this in a couple of days. Um, there's only about 444 or 440 pages in it. So yeah, it's just, it's just forgettable. I mean, I think it was a really cute, sweet read, but it's forgettable. Like I really can't remember anything that happened <laughs> um okay so next is um a walk to remember by nicholas sparks this book however was really good um it's only 159 pages so it's a really quick read this book was really good except the ending i did not like the ending because how he kind of wrote it was like you kind of got to decide what happened to the couple so if you felt they stayed together then that's what happened and then if you felt they didn't and spoiler alert but I feel like this book has been out for such a long time it doesn't need a spoiler but it's a spoiler it but if you felt that she died and they didn't get to stay together then that's what happened and i just i don't like it <laughs> if he would have put a like a set in stone ending in this i would have loved it i would have ate it up but to where he he didn't it was like mm, like i just i don't like it because i don't like being in charge of things like that <laughs> Um, but other than that, it was super good. It was, it was a very sweet, heartbreaking romance. And, yeah, like, I recommend it for, like, any lover, like, uh, lovers, any, like, anybody that really loves, like, short and sweet, uh, love stories. But if you don't like, like, leaving on a cliffhanger and there not being a second book, then this one's for you. And lastly, I think we all saw this coming. If you watched any of my book videos before, you definitely saw this coming. But it, it is Paper Towns by John Green. Um, I really love John Green. I'm actually reading An Abundance of Catherine's right now, and I am really loving it. But, it's just, this book, it's just, it, I don't like it at all. I've never liked it. I hate DNFing books. And that is the only why the the only reason why I did not DNF this book. And I don't know, like there were some parts that I liked, but most of it I just didn't. And honestly, I can't like from like right now without like really like without looking at my notes or looking at like the description I can't really remember anything that happened in this book and I just I remember I did not like 
you and I did not like, was it Margot? Yeah, Margot. I did not like them whatsoever. Didn't like it. I thought Q was an absolute prick and I thought Mar Margot was a little brat. Like, I just, I, I didn't like it whatsoever. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this book to anyone, to anybody, but if you like, I guess like treasure hunting, scavenger hunting, um, like, not argument, but like, a little quest, riddles, solving riddles. I don't like solving riddles, so that might be why I really just did not like this book. This book is also very slow. And spoiler alert, the couple didn't even get together at the, in the end. So why I spent, hold on, 305 pages waiting for them to get together just for them not to I don't know I don't know but yeah just I, I just I did not like I didn't like it I didn't like it so that's it for today's video <laughs> um go check out my last video which was my next five books in my 20 books before I'm 18 series. Just go do that. <laughs> um, actually, I do know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm either gonna do my top five books